Hey guys, what's going on? It's your Auntie. Today I want to talk about Jordan Retros and the whole sitting on shelves conversation. I want to get a little deeper into it because I know there's been a lot of discussion with this with this holiday uh, release with all the holiday releases with the Aquarius on Black Friday, the Jordan 11s, and and the fact that people are like. Like you walk in any sneaker store right now and you see like the sweater seven sitting, you see a bunch of nines sitting, you see all these retros on shelves and people almost get like freaked out about it. They're like, dude, sitting. Oh my God, look, 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 look how available they are. And, and it's this ultimate battle that we've had of do you want Jordan retros to have somewhat of a limited nature or do you want them to be ready available where you can go pick them up at the store? Why is this happening? Is it because they're producing more or is, are people buying less? Yes, at the end of the day, Jordan Brand is still cooking. They're still selling retros straight up the ass. Like they are, they're fine. However, I do think you know there is a with when you're putting out new colorways at a 190 price point, and you just and there's a lot of retros coming out. Of course, retros are gonna sit because there's just no need for it. I, I do truly think that if Jordan Brand was smart, they would limit they would go back to limiting some Jordan GRs you know what I mean like it, it could still be a GR but have a lot less if that even makes sense like for instance the Jordan 7 sweaters that's a shoe that you know it was fine but like you know did anyone truly need that shoe and I think if they had made that somewhat limited and a little more special maybe special packaging and cut the numbers down I think that shoe would have sold out it, it would have had more like Awe to it, like ooh, look how look how different it is, and ooh, it's kind of limited. I, I ultimately it leads me, and I've said this before, people like shoes to be limited. They do. We're all collectors. We all don't want the same shoes to be wearing the same shoes for the most part. I just think that they've got to find a way to not water themselves down so much. I think they've truly, truly watered themselves down, and we're gonna see. Wait till 2016. They're gonna start dropping a lot of shoes with Nike Air on it at 220, and and you're gonna see some, you're gonna see stuff truly get marked down. Like the military blue fours, 220 with Nike Air in the back. I, the Nike Air is not gonna do enough. Like for instance, Maroon Sixes are still readily available. No one like. I mean, I love the military blue four. I love it, but not many people do. When they released, when when Jordans were at their peak, Jordans were booming. They were they were. Everything was reselling. Even then, the military blue is people were like, nah, I don't want those. And even Nike Air is not going to save the military blue. You're going to see that shoe sit harder than a fucking dead duck in a river. And I don't even know what that means. But uh, I, it's a conversation I'm going to just keep going with. And, uh, you know, it feels a little repetitive, but I, I want to keep it going because I think it's a really important topic and subject. When you've got the King Kong, you know, who no one can fuck with them. However, it is, you know... I have, people are a lot more horny for Adidas right now, in my honest opinion. And, and this is in regards on the social media world. In the grand scheme of things, money-wise, and yeah, of course Jordan Brand's kicking fucking dick, and that's, that's what they do. But in the coolness department, I actually think Adidas is, is, is cooking right now. You put Adidas next to Jordan Brand, uh, to, to some of the guys, you know, on, on social media, a lot of people, I think, are feeling Adidas a little more right now than Jordan Brand because they feel a little more fresh. They don't feel as watered down. Uh, so, I don't know. That's just my random-ass thoughts that I have in my skull right now and just wanted to share them. So, uh, thumbs up button, follow me on social, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Take care. Peace. Sorry. I've made three videos tonight in the same hoodie. I'm not going to do the fake thing where I go change just because that would be fake.